So, the Grizzlies without Ja Morant. We're gonna talk about it. Jaren Jackson dunks on Pascal Siakam. Uh, might, might have counted for four points. What do we know in Memphis, right? Okay, let me stop playing. Uh, ja, we'll talk about him just after we finish the highlights. Danny Green played his first game as a Grizzly, I'm pretty sure. And he is the three here. But the Raptors, man. The Raptors came up clutch here. They outscored the Grizzlies 28-17 in crunch time. Precious Ishua on the dunk. And yeah, they played really well down the stretch. Scotty Barnes was hemming, which was nice to see. I'm happy for Scotty going crazy here with the hook shot. And yeah, he was very hyped after this one. As he should be, to be fair, right? And it's great to see them actually play with some heart because, well, we all know. Fred Van Fleet blocks it here. They call the challenge. It is overturned. And Jaren Jackson puts up a prayer here after Pascal Saka made both free throws. Misses. The Raptors get a great win in Memphis with no job playing, of course. But the Raptors needed need those wins right now. And we'll see, you know, we are just... Three, four days removed from the deadline. So, yeah, we'll see whatever happens. Check out the video I made about that. But let's talk about Ja. So, there was this article. Ja Morent article that came out about him having an, him and his team having an altercation with the Pacers and their security guards that they saw a gun and a laser pointed and NBA investigated it. And Ja, of course, calls Cap on his Instagram and... Yeah, it is a weird, weird situation. He did not play tonight because, well, of his wrist, it is said. But, I mean, who knows at this point, right? But it's still a very weird situation, to say the least. And not surprising whatsoever because Ja has been on that time on Twitter. And he plays this, uh, I don't know why, but some players just want to be tough and want to be perceived as tough and as... Uh, gangster, as I guess you, know, you people people would call it. I don't know. But he just wants to be per perceived as tough and the people around him can cost him money and cost him a lot of things and you need to be more careful with that. But nobody is surprised, right? It's free to see how the hollows feel, I suppose. Let me know your thoughts about Giant this incident because it's... It's, it's really weird, man. It's really upsetting, to say the least, because Ja is one of the most fun players to watch overall. But at the same time, man, the antics and everything around him is just so annoying, to be of, quite frank with you. But I, of course, have some bias against Memphis, so maybe it is not annoying to everyone else. But I'm pretty sure a lot of people are coming around on that. Raptors have... Seven people in double digits out of eight players that played tonight. Ted Young had 14, Chris Boucher had 17, and then Bench was sensational. Fred Van Fleet with just 15 on 19 shots, not the best game from him. Gary Trent, 10 on 14 shots, not the best game from him. Precious Uchua had 10 and 7 with 4 steals. Pascal with 19, but he made those free throws, so all is forgiven for this game. And Scotty Barnes at 16, 7, 2 assists, 2 steals, and 2 blocks. I really enjoyed it, especially... <laughs> I really enjoyed his game, especially down the stretch. And it was very intriguing to see those teams both adjust in that second half because the first half was way more scoring. And then in that second half, it was like 40-40. I'm, of course, not getting you uh, the exact number here because I don't have it pulled up. But uh, it was, you know, much better defensive effort, I felt like. And there were some tough shots made and tough shots forced. Tough shots forced, and it was very fun to watch, actually. Desmond Bain with 26 points, really good game from him. You got Xavier Tillman with 12 and 9, Jaren Jackson with 18 points, Santi Aldama with 15 points. Tyus Jones played solid in his, you know, start instead of Jazz. He usually does 9 points, 8 rebounds, 7 assists. Man, he was on the triple-double timing. Uh, the bench was bad, though. The bench was really bad tonight. Danny Green played, hit two threes. That was fine from him, but otherwise he was really bad. They had 20 turnovers on the night to the Raptors 11 turnovers, which is really horrible. And you have just everyone had way too many turnovers. The starters had too many turnovers. The bench had turnovers. It was just not the best combination for the Grizzlies tonight. So, yeah, a great win for the Raptors.